Yeah, I think originally we've kind of looked at the e-bike thing and gone, that's kind of a compromise on the actual like bike riding experience, but we always wanted to try to hit something closer to like what we felt mountain biking really is. And with this project, with this bike, this gets us the best of both worlds in a single product. I really do think that the Relay, and especially with this Fazua Ride 60 system, is a mountain biker's e-bike. So we've been working on the concept for the relay for a really long time, like years and years before we launched the repeater. And uh, we went through a couple iterations of it. The basic concept was to have a modular bike, two bikes in one, kind of a convertible. Like you could have a bike that you could ride as a regular bike. And then as an option, it also had the ability to be a powered bike. At the early stages of development, most of the e-bike products on the market were focused on maximum power, and battery size has continued to go up and up and up. But we wanted a bike that was really as close to what we all rode as a normal bike, but had that e-bike experience. We had this concept, this like unicorn bike that we really wanted to make. And the trajectory of the project, which ultimately has become the relay, naturally intersected with the development of the Fazua Ride 60 system. The Fazua Ride 60 system is a mid-power motor in a lightweight package. It has an easily removable 430 watt-hour battery and a 60 newton meter motor, which stays in the frame but has virtually no drag. We've realized that you can't make an assumption based on the numbers that you see. You know, the, the newton meters that the motor has and the watts that the battery has. It's a lot lighter than a full power e-bike. So that power to weight ratio, you get like very similar range to a full power bike and very similar power it was shocking for us to actually get to ride the system. It actually exceeded our expectations tremendously. The system is so efficient, they're able to go on rides with other higher powered e-bikes. In addition, without the battery, there's only a slight weight penalty and rides almost unnoticeably different than our other bikes. You can run it dual 2.9 or mixed wheel, 160 travel or 170 travel. While we were focused on keeping the weight low, we still wanted that bike to have the ability to ride gnarlier terrain and ride the steep loamy lines and stuff that really makes riding fun from our perspective. I think it's really frustrating, you know, as a consumer right now, like, you know, you're kind of faced with this dilemma, this choice of like, do I want an e-bike? With this, we wanted to make kind of a single bike that could do two things and you didn't have to make that choice. You can truly buy one bike now and it will work really well as an e-bike and it works really well as just a regular pedal bike. We're just riding an analog bike right now, having a great time. Um, and that's what it's all about, you know, is giving the consumer the ability to not have to really spend that much money and make that kind of investment in, in two different things. We're in a rad place right now, given how divergent e-bikes have been from normal bikes over the last number of years that I feel like we're finally like connecting the dots and merging the two in like the best way. We don't need two completely different experiences. We can have one product that gives you both. Thank you.